Hi, this video is about the Panasonic GridEye, which is a unique sensor that could have hundreds of use cases in the real world. It can detect far infrared radiation from a distance of several meters, such as that generated from body heat. The GridEye is actually an array of 64 sensors that combine to produce a heat map of the sensed area. It can operate at speeds of up to about 10 frames per second, so video can be generated with the appropriate software. The particular GridEye device I use can be used to sense temperatures in the range of minus 20 to 100 degrees Celsius. The device I had was a first generation device, but now Panasonic can release their second generation series, which is apparently more accurate um, and has better resolution and can operate over longer distances. There is also a blog post which details how the device works and has links to the software and to an earlier video which covers how to connect to a Raspberry Pi sensor hat which could display the information on an LED matrix. And it also shows a good eye detecting things like candles from a distance or resistors getting hot while passing current. This time around, I wanted to try using the GridEye to detect humans. In, in some respects, it is better than a video camera because it can operate in complete darkness and also it doesn't use a lot of resources. It uses about 15 milliwatts of power and it could be interfaced to an 8-bit microcontroller to be able to do sufficiently useful functions. In contrast, a video camera might take about 100 milliwatts of power, but it might require a, a much higher end processor and perhaps 1000 milliwatts to perform human detection. The evaluation board contains the GridEye device itself and also a Bluetooth smart module, which means that it can communicate the sensor data wirelessly to a PC. To receive it, I used a Bluetooth Smart adapter plugged into the USB port. Bluetooth Smart is also known as Bluetooth LE or Bluetooth 4.0 or 4.x. I wrote some basic software which receives the temperature data and then maps it to colours and then resizes it to increase from 8x8 pixels to a much larger image. There's a technique called bilinear interpolation which is used to create values for the intermediate pixels. This is quite important for good visualisation of the results. Filtering the data over multiple frames might be useful too, but uh, the software doesn't currently implement that. The software also creates a simple web server, and if any web browser is connected to it, then the video will be displayed in the browser. The benefits of doing this is that you can use any mobile phone or tablet to view the video in a normal web page while walking around testing the system. The first test was called The Running Man and it involves setting up the grideye to point at a walkway at waist height. I initially walked and then ran past the sensor in both directions to see if it would keep up. It managed just fine. As did I, of course. The screen on the left shows the running software. It doesn't output much text except on startup when the Bluetooth endpoint connects and then it displays some identifiers. All the interesting stuff happens in the web browser. Another scenario I wanted to try was a bit more static and it was something raised by Dave Ingalls on Element 14. He wanted to know how useful the grid eye could be for room occupancy measurement purposes. So I chose a location and pointed the grid eye again at waist height aimed towards the seating area. I chose five possible seating locations for this test. Then I ran the software and recorded the video result with me sitting at each location. The result shows a distinct difference in output for each of the locations. With some filtering over time and perhaps pattern recognition or training, it should be very easy to identify where someone is sitting. In summary, the grid eye performed well. I was impressed that it worked with very little signal processing beyond scaling the data and sending it to the screen. With some filtering and pattern matching, I think very accurate results could be obtained near instantaneously.